mystery. This is coming from Genesis 42, verse 36 through 38. We begin in verse 36 by reading, And Jacob their father said unto them, Me have you bereaved of my children. Joseph is not. Simeon is not. And you will take Benjamin away. All these things are against me. You know, many a times we're faced with a decision. And it's going to hurt us. We feel it's going to hurt us. You know, like when your children are getting ready to go to college, can I let go? Your wife, your husband wants some kind of divorce or they want marriage counseling. Can I go through it? So what you have to learn is that as you go through life, God will never give you anything more than what you can handle. And we talked about this before, right? But the mystery comes in the fact of you have to discover who you are in Christ. That's what we're doing from the very time we're born to the very time we die. Okay? Because after death, there's nothing we could do. So you could choose what you want to do with your life. You could learn. Or you could stay in the state in which you're in. Now, Jacob clearly knows that he's going to have to give up his son, Simeon, in order to not only get food, but to also save his family's life. So he understands, as we read in the beginning, he's given a glimpse of something he has to overcome. And it's his great love for his children, but also his great obedience and trust within God. So he has to connect with God to an even greater, deeper level. In 37 it says, And Reuben spake unto his father, saying, Slay my two sons, if I bring him not to thee. Deliver him into my hand, and I will bring him to thee again. So what do you think Reuben is doing here? Alright, Reuben remembers his sin in which he did. This this story is, has so many levels that are intertwined in one and another. Reuben slept with his father's concubines, which is something you should not do according to the law. He knows that. He's his first, Jacob's first son. Okay? And he's looking for an opportunity because now he's looking at life through the mirror of his past. And saying... What can I do to get closer? This is my opportunity to get closer to my dad. To ask for forgiveness from my dad. Okay? It says in 38, And he said, My son shall not go down with you, for his brother is dead, and he is left alone. If mischief befall him by the way, in the which ye go, then shall ye bring down my gray hairs with sorrow to the grave. Okay? He already knows that Reuben sinned against him. You sinned against me once. The sin was too great. I can't forgive. Now, as you keep reading, you understand that Jacob does allow his son, Benjamin, to go down to Egypt. But what we have to understand in this mystery is that my son shall not go down with you, meaning one person. Meaning he's speaking to Reuben, not to the rest of the brethren. So he understands if you've done this great evil, sinned against God, because this is written down in the commandment that you shouldn't discover your father's skirt or, and sleep with your dad's concubines, which is the same interpretation. If you've done this great evil against God and towards your father, why would I put my son into your hands? So no, he didn't forgive him. And we learn later on that judgment was given unto Reuben that wasn't very good because of his actions. What we learn through this mystery is that there's some things that could be forgiven, but some acts in which you do that cannot be. Okay? Which means to you, you've got to live a life that's perfect. You don't know what's going to hurt. You don't know what's going to cause pain. You don't know what's going to kill. All you know is if you do right, God would take care of the rest. So, 
you know, in this message, what would you do? Okay? And can you really handle this? Can you handle the relationship of Jacob and his son and having to give up something that you love? Or Reuben going ahead and faced with a situation where he could do better? Or Joseph? When he went ahead and he could have had revenge and killed his brethren. But instead, God gave him a spirit to weep. And he was given relief so that he could judge the situation wisely. Or even in the end, with his family. Talking about Jacob's family. And how he overlooked the fact of, okay, my children are grown. Why do they need me? But instead of him saying why, he said, how can I help? So these are all lessons that we face in our daily lives. And hopefully you learned that there is power within you to do anything in which you're going through. You have the answer within yourself in order to answer any question that you face. It's a better way to place it. So you don't need to worry about anything. Can you handle it? Yes, you can. That's why you're faced with it. Just believe in God, and he'll give you the tools to overcome. God bless.